Hello there guys, welcome back to another C Sharp tutorial. In this video we are gonna cover another control which is tab control. Okay, so here we're gonna start with a new project. We're gonna select uh, Visual C Sharp and here we're gonna use uh, Windows Forms application as usual. Hit OK and you will get a form. Okay, so now when we want to create uh, this control uh, we can go and uh, view all Windows controls and you will find there is... where is that? Um, check out the curiosity after that. Okay, there we go. This is a tab control. There we go. So you see here it's a tab control, and you click on that, and you click here, and you get a tab control. Now, um, let's see if I can dock it. Uh, well, before that, uh, I want to show you this. There's a difference in the way you select or you click on this uh, tab control. If you click here in the title part, you are selecting the tab control itself. You can see here in the properties window, this is the tab control one. However, if you click inside this box, you are actually selecting a tab page. A tab control consists of many tab pages. So here we are selecting the first tab page, which is called tab page one. And, uh, you know, if you want to switch to the other one, you have to click on the title. The first click will switch to tab control one, and the second click will bring the second tab con uh, tab page into the front. So now I can click on this one, and now I s I've just selected tab page two, as you can see here. Okay, so just pay attention to that. Um, also, pay attention not to change the attributes of the wrong control or properties of the wrong control. Okay, so. Uh, what we can, what can we do with this one? Well, actually, um, uh, as you can see, you can, uh, you have two tabs. So the easiest thing to do, or the most obvious, is adding more tabs. As you can see, you can here add more tabs, or maybe you can remove tabs if you don't want to. Okay. Now, uh, so I'm gonna add tabs here. No problem. Now the question is, well, what if I want to change the title? of a tab page. Well, uh, you remember with buttons, you have the text properties, the uh, text property that allows you to change the text of a button. Here, when you select a tab page, in this case, it's tab page 3, you can go and search for the text property, and we're going to say, for example, uh, system on formation, let's say. And now, uh, let me expand this a little bit, and this one, sorry, let me click here, and now I want to expand this and you see now this one is system information if I go to another tab page uh, pay attention here uh, I'm not uh, I haven't selected the tab page uh, you can uh, know that from these anchor points if I click inside the, an the anchor points uh, or these boxes will disappear and you know you, you have selected the tab page so here you can change the second tab page let's say file or let's say user information okay okay and this is the first tab page and for some reason I want to remove that so I'm gonna click here and I'm gonna remove the active one and remove the second one okay so now we have two tab pages and I've just changed the uh, text in these tab uh, pages okay now what if I want to add controls well, adding controls is very straightforward. You just need to, well, uh, drag and drop the control into the tab that is being displayed right now. So here I have label one. I might add uh, some text. Where is that? This text box, right? So you can see here I'm displaying some text. And uh, let's go here. I switch to this one. And now I can place, uh, let's say, a radio button. Uh, place uh, a text box and so on. As you can see, uh, adding uh, controls into a tab control a tab page is very straightforward. Okay, so that's very easy. That's very convenient. Uh, there's another thing that you might uh, need. Uh, what if you want to change the order of these tabs? So instead of this one appearing second, you want to make it first. What do you do? Well. But, uh, this is easy. First, you need to select the tab control. So you can click here, the title part, and now the tab control is being selected. It's here. 
and the tab control has a connection it's called tab pages if you click here you get a button with ellipses and you click on it yeah, you will see all the tab pages so here you have tab page 2 and tab page 3 so we are going to change the order so I'm selecting this one moving it up and I'm hitting OK so now the system information is the first tab this is the second tab okay what more can we see there so actually there are a number of things uh, you can change lots of properties uh, you can change this from the properties window or maybe um, you can change them from here so I want to change the font here um, I'll use Times New Romans bold maybe 16 hit OK and uh, hit OK so you can see now this radio button is quite large right um, so it's very straightforward not very complicated control it doesn't require much programming uh, okay and in a few cases you might need to add some uh, uh, you know access the control uh, at runtime few cases not, not many anyway so what also do we have do we have to know or what's the most important properties of tab controls of course there's a font that is being used with all uh, that is being shared with all the controls it has the same uh, and also um, let me see what do we have we have I want to show you something here where is it? Where is it? Where is it? I forgot the name. There's a, a one that allows you to change where the tabs appear. Right? So let me see. Alignment. Okay. I think it's the alignment. Uh, so I'm going to change this to bottom. Yes, it's the alignment. So now what do you have? You have the tab pages appearing at the bottom. Right? Uh, so now I'm going to change this to right. Or maybe left, and you can come here and you see these tab pages, okay, appearing here. Or maybe you want to change the alignment to be to the right, okay, as you can see. Very straightforward, not very complicated. Um, and most of these properties can, uh, you know, you can know a little bit about them by reading uh, this text that appears here, okay. So let me see. You can change this to appear as buttons. So now these looks like buttons when you press them. If you need to, you know, change the visual style, or if you want flat buttons, and uh, I don't know what the, what kind of what difference does it make to have these kinds, right? But these are quite big. Okay, let me change this to. Um, sorry, where is that? Alignment, appearance, buttons. I'm going to change this to normal. Okay, there we go. Now it came back to the way it was, right? Okay. In addition to that, there are more controls that are related, uh, but we will cover these later on. Now, so what can we do with this one? Well, basically, the most common use, the one that you see in Windows the most, is property sheets. So let's say, for example, here uh, you have this file over here. I'm going to right click and press properties, and you see this one. This is a, uh, a tab control, it has four tab pages, it has general security details, uh, previous versions, right? So let's try to do something like this. Okay, so how do we do it? Uh, this is very straightforward. The first thing I'm going to get rid of this control because we messed a lot of things here and uh, it's easier to remove everything uh, the window is a dialog window so I'm gonna come here and let's see this is gonna be where's the font border style this is gonna be fixed single because you don't want to resize it we don't want a maximize button we don't want a minimize button so far so good and this is gonna be let's say File properties window. Okay, and if you run this one, so far we didn't create a control, but you can see now it's appearing like a dialog. Next, we are gonna put a tab control. Uh, tab control. Uh, this is a tab control. There we go. And I'm gonna place this one here. Let's assume it's not that big, but anyway, 
you know, just the basic features. There's going to be what, uh, let me see this, the name of the properties, sorry. We have general security details on the previous versions. So we have general, maybe I will add them quicker this way, I click here. Okay, so I will add the other two, three and four. Uh, this, the first one is going to be general. The second one is going to be details. Enter. Third one is going to be security. Uh, what was the last one? Uh, previous versions, right? So the last one is previous versions. Okay, I'm gonna hit OK. So now, if we run this, we get something that is very similar, All right? Okay, so let me show you this just to see in comparison. Okay, right? So they look pretty much the same, not much difference, right? So this is the basic trick. And actually, this is a text box. You can see now when you're creating control, this is a text box. There's a label. This is a text box with flat style. Okay, uh, maybe I need to to do this uh, so that you can see uh, okay so here we need to put uh, some kind of an icon maybe later on uh, because I don't want to cover the image control right now it's easy but anyway I don't want to confuse you with that so uh, let me put where is the text box this is a text box control okay there's gonna be you know uh, there's going to be what file name dot uh, txt or let's say info. Let's say there's a file called info dot txt, right? Uh, let me see. What also do we have? We need to put uh, there's a, there. We need a line control. I think there's a line control there, right? I remember there used to be a line control either here or in the power packs or something like that right there should be something like that if I am not mistaken okay uh, I don't want to waste lots of time on that but anyway so let me show you how you can create a control that looks like a label but you can select it this is actually a text box. So here, this is a text box. But the difference here, you go to the properties and you change what is the form border style or, or border style. This border style, you change that to uh, not fix single, you change it to none. And now, what do you see? I'm going on this. Okay, so you can see here. And you can actually click here and you can select. So it is pretty much the same, uh, sorry, as this control, right? So here you can select things, here you can select things. So not much of a difference. These are uh, check boxes, these are buttons, uh, and there's a line. And the rest is very straightforward, so uh, uh, it's not a big deal. Okay? So, uh, yeah. So I think that's enough for uh, working with tab controls. I hope you'll find this useful. I will cover, cover more controls in the next uh, tutorial. And hopefully later on we'll start building uh, app useful applications. Uh, thank you for watching and have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.